Hi everyone, welcome to my New Moon concert. I'm so pleased to be able to play for you today. Um, I've had a few days off and it has been, well, almost a few days off. I've been really kind of planning um, the next sort of steps with music. I have some uh, shows coming up, um, if you've seen some of my stories uh, on Instagram. So it's been, a, it's been a productive time, but mostly I'm just kind of sitting kind of the wheels are turning and I'm just kind of trying to plan everything out. Um, along with my CD release, uh, I have some exciting news. We're um, pretty much finished the mixes, so we're just mastering right now, um, which is really exciting. And by pretty much finished the mixes, I mean we've finished them. Um, I'm really happy with what we have and uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, mastering them. And uh, we already kind of have a step up with that. We've already played around um, with some some mastering, so uh, I'm looking forward to having those done very, very soon. Um, it is a beautiful new moon, and I find myself uh, really reflective and, as I said, basically planning. I have some merchandise uh, along with this CD and streaming uh, of my album that um, I'm also planning, so I'm getting some samples right now and uh, just getting down to the preparation of, of planning and um, sort of the dates and uh, how we want to release it. So it's a really exciting time and uh, that's a traditional song that I learned yesterday. Um, it's the, the entire song is um, actually in, uh, in Scottish Gaelic but I've, <laughs> I'm learning it in Gaelic right now, but because I wanted to, to play it for you so badly, I just kind of threw in the English translation and sang the verses for you. Uh, and I'm learning some other songs in Gaelic that I want to share with you. Uh, so uh, the most difficult thing that I find singing in Irish Gaelic or Scottish Gaelic is the... Uh, uh, of course, the pronunciation, but it's really some of the. I find a lot of the vowels are actually really subtle, so I'm trying to pay attention to those and sort of speak them um, appropriately and uh, hopefully not butchering the language, which I certainly do not want to do. It's such a gorgeous one. Um, and I find the, the songs are so beautiful. Um, if you search for Gaelic music, um, or rather music in Gaelic, they're just so beautiful. Uh, so today I have a few songs that I want to play for you. 
Um, I also kind of want to talk about lifestyle, and um, since it's a new moon and I'm feeling reflective, and uh, so basically I've been talking to my partner a lot about lifestyle because um, since we sort of met each other, and not really right away, but once we started um, seeing each other and living together, we um, are very focused on eating healthy and um, being in shape and uh, just, yeah, I think the older we get, you know, it's like I've had a shoulder injury for about a year and um, it's, shoulder injuries, first of all, are really slow to heal, um, but I just find that the body is a little bit more stiff than than it used to be when I was in my 20s. So, um, uh, and I'm talking about just a small percentage, but I, I, I've talked to my partner often about how he wants to live his life and how I want to live mine, and lucky, luckily it's very similar. Um, so we've discussed, uh, yeah, kind of how we want to live life, so that's been on my mind lately. And um, I just kind of want to share with you uh, some things that um, I do or plan to do uh, coming up. So um, I've been using all natural products for everything. I use natural and organic products for um, for toothpaste. Uh, in the morning I brush my teeth uh, with everything natural. You can actually made, make homemade toothpaste or rather mostly tooth, tooth powder. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I have been using organic products and uh, everything natural. And then um, we eat as much as we can that's organic. It's really hard to get everything organic, um, but we do our best to um, get as much organic produce as possible. So in the morning, um, I drink, uh, I squeeze a whole lemon and I drink that with room temperature water, and um, I find that does me even better than coffee. Um, I don't really like coffee, so which is lucky for me because it's not necessarily great if you have it too much. Um, so anyway, I uh, do that, and we've been looking into what we don't have right now that I'd really like to have are um, is a a f facility or kind of um, a way to compost kind of. Uh, a, a lot of what we use. Um, I am a big believer of putting back uh, what you use from from Mother Earth and putting it back into the ground and and thanking the Earth for um, everything that sustains us. And um, so we're looking at kind of some, you know, some sort of... It doesn't have to be a huge composting system, but we do want something, even that small, um, that we can use. So uh, we're looking into that right now. Um, I'm actually just started using, and I can't believe it took me this long, but I've started using all natural um, uh, face products, which I've been using natural sort of cleansers and everything and creams for a really long time. In fact, I make my own uh, when I can, but I'm actually switched over to uh, natural makeup. And I think that's really important for the skin because even though I don't I don't wear makeup that often, um, when I have any shows, I tend to uh, just put on makeup to sort of finish off the outfit or the look that I'm I'm going for. And for photo shoots, uh, it's important to have sort of a sort of a a look that's as um, a <laughs> look where you don't need to touch it up so much in Photoshop. So, um, I've been using all natural makeup products now, which is really, really exciting and, um, much better for my skin. I'm not getting bumps anymore. Um, so that's just something in terms of lifestyle that, uh, some changes that, uh, I, I've been making and a few things that I, I'd like to do going forward. Um, and in terms of lifestyle too, it de depends how you want to live your life and, um, you know, the habits that you want to sustain. And I was talking to my partner as well about um, our diet. And I don't like to call it a diet because uh, a diet you think of as like, okay, I'll do um, 
a month diet and I won't, I'll cut out, you know, bread, I'll cut out sugar and all this stuff. But then after the month is gone, you tend to go back to, you know, bad habits of, of eating sugar. And, um, and it's not to say you can't have it from time to time, but we've really discussed having a lifestyle that works for us, which is basically not having a lot of bread, although we've decided we can have it at times, but generally, um, day to day, um, neither of us really want it. And then, um, there's refined sugar. I've cut that out completely. And, um, I've, I'm still having, um, natural sweeteners like honey and maple syrup. Um, maple syrup is abundant here in, um, in Canada. So, so we often use that, um, but I like honey as well. And, um, uh, not everything you can make. You know, if you're making a birthday cake, you probably want to use uh, sugar, and that's fine. Um, but we're talking about lifestyle rather than diet. Um, so we just found that it was really interesting. So I, I cut out sugar completely. I started in January. I thought, you know, I, I just, especially after Christmas time, you, you just kind of sugar really, I find it just, I just got really turned off by it and I was, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna just stop eating sugar because I just don't want it. Um, which is the best way to start, uh, cutting out anything from your, from your, um, kind of eating program. <laughs> um, is it, you just don't want the bad things for you, which is great. Um, so, uh, besides that, um, cut out sugar and then uh, sort of cut out starches, but um, wasn't too much of a focus. Um, but what I found though that after cutting out sugar for a few months, um, my partner and I decided to sort of celebrate. Uh, we had some sugar and I just felt so awful. I, I overdid it, I guess, or my body just felt uh, overwhelmed. And, um, so I had a, a day and a half of just feeling awful. And then I, uh, of course, stopped wanting sugar, um, again. But it's, it's interesting because we then sort of discussed how that made us feel. And, um, the fact that we don't, we also don't want to say no to certain things. Cause I feel like with a diet, it's, it's all about the mentality. Um, and when you say a diet, you keep telling yourself no, which makes you want to have it even more. So, um, I haven't really restricted myself to anything, but I've simply cut out refined sugar just because I do feel better. And, um, it's much nicer. We feel, we both feel healthier. It's so nice to be able to have a partner that wants to do the same thing you're doing because, um, since we cook all our meals together, basically, um, most of them anyway, uh, it would be very difficult if one of us wanted to do something different. So, uh, we're both pretty lucky about that, but, um, you know, it's sort of getting into the routine of enjoying something and having the right mentality, uh, kind of saying like, oh, I can't wait to do this. And I, I feel so good when I do this. Like when I, when I exercise, I feel so good afterwards. And it's also really good to lubricate the body. It just, it just keeps you working. It keeps you in check. And, um, so yeah, I just wanted to sort of discuss lifestyle since it's new moon and I feel a little bit reflective. And, uh, I just kind of wanted to s discuss that because I find that, um, society really talks about diet and to go on this diet or that diet. There's so many different options. Cut out dairy, don't cut out dairy. Um, do a paleo diet and everyone has a completely different body and things work for, uh, you know, different things work for different people. And it's very, very, uh, individualized and, uh, a diet, I mean. So I've been really focusing on, um, the, the kinds of vegetables that work for me, um, when I eat, um, also because of, uh, my part-time job, I sort of finish my job later at night and it's just the worst if I eat afterwards, even though I often, because I'm so tired, I get, I think I get really hungry, but if I just have like an herbal tea, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll just wait till the morning. Um, so there, 
you know, I like to do some intermittent fasting as well. Um, and then I'm still kind of exploring and seeing what works for me. So, um, but it's, it's really hard when society is telling you to do this or that or otherwise. And, um, you know, advertisements can be very convincing. And, um, so I've just, over the years, I've, I actually, I'm sort of thankful because I had a lot of, um, uh, difficulties with my health growing up and in my 20s as well. So um, I had some sinus surgeries because uh, I was having trouble there and there was just a lot of issues I had but the surgeries didn't really cure everything so I had to figure things out for myself but I'm really really pleased that I had the opportunity to do that because I've learned what works for my body and how I feel healthy. Um, I've learned uh, I've sort of gone down this very, I guess, spiritual journey um, of holistic practices and herbalism. And um, so those are a lot of sort of things that I've learned. I've, I'm also uh, taking a three-year course um, in herbalism. So I'm, I don't know, I think I'm three quarters of the way finished. We'll see. Um, I have to check. I haven't been able to do much work lately. Um, but uh, I've learned so many things and I've implemented them into my my day-to-day -day world and um, it's been a very spiritual journey. Uh, so I'm just actually quite grateful for um, the illnesses that I had and the, the low uh, sort of, well, lack of health, I guess, but um, low immune system, I was going to say. So anyway... Um, Another thing that I've been doing lately is I have been working towards uh, trying to um, get ready for uh, this concert that's coming up for me in May. It's May 14th, I believe, in North Vancouver. Um, I'm really excited and I feel like, um, sorry, I'm just getting this ready. Um, but. I've been, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. Um, so I've been working towards, uh, playing harp. I'm actually not going to be singing, um, during this concert. I'm opening for, um, a well-known Canadian musician, uh, called Valdi, and I will be opening for him in May. But I'm just going to be playing harp music. So I have actually worked really hard this last year doing mostly accompaniment on the harp uh, with voice. So I'm not going to be singing at all. So I thought, oh my goodness, I really need a bigger repertoire um, for, for the harp. So I've just been looking at different pop songs, um, different um, Irish songs, Scottish, uh, sort of whatever... Whatever I like, basically, um, I'll work on. And uh, then also I've just been kind of, yeah, with the pop songs, I want to play some songs during this particular concert that everyone recognizes. So I've been putting together um, some pieces. But of course, knowing, you know, as, you know, the musician that I am, I like to pick some intermediate to advanced accompaniments instead of, uh, easy ones. So I've been, I've had to do a lot of practicing. So, um, but this is a particular uh, Kichinaguman. This is a particular Irish song that I really like, so I'll play this for you now.
And that's such a beauty. I love that one. Um, I think I'll play one more song for you today since I've sort of chatted quite a bit and I don't know if you prefer <laughs> prefer just music. So I will certainly play one more for you. This is called Blacksmith. Smith caught in me nine months and better. He finally won my heart, wrote me a letter. With his hammer in his hand, he looked quite clever. And if I were with my love, I'd live forever. But where is my love gone? With his cheeks like roses And his good black billy cock on Decked round with primroses I'm afraid the scorching sun Will burn and shine his beauty Oh, if I were with my love I'd do my duty Strange news has come to town Strange news is carried Strange news was up and down that my love is married. I wish them both much joy, though they can't hear me. Though may God reward him well for the slighting of me. Do you remember when you lay beside me and you said you'd marry me? If I said I'd marry you, it was only for to try you. So bring your witness, love, and I'll not deny you. No witness have I none, save God Almighty. I may reward you well for the slighting of me. Her lips grew pale and wan. It made a poor heart tremble to think she loved a one, and he proved deceitful. And that was called Blacksmith. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this new moon. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions uh, regarding my music or anything else, herbalism or anything anything that you'd like uh, below. And uh, please let me know if you have any particular song requests. I'd be happy to uh, play some songs for you. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me and uh, please stay tuned for the Patreon show that I do after this, uh, which is the After Hours concert. Um, so please join me there if you have a moment. And thank you so much for your support and I wish you a beautiful, beautiful new moon. <laughs>